What's going on devs? Welcome back to AppDev channel. Sometimes you're gonna gonna to need to build a JavaScript code down clock. You may have an event, a sale, a promotion or maybe a game. You can build a clock in vanilla JavaScript. Why? Because you have more control. You have built the clock to behave exactly the way you want it to. Here is how you can make your own countdown clock in just a couple of lines of JavaScript. Hey, if you're new here and you want to increase your web dev skills, subscribe and click that little bell down below so you get notified every time I post a new video. Alright devs, let's start really from the beginning, really from scratch. In the beginning, all you have is this picture here, there is a link down below so you can download this one, okay? And let's create our files structure. Let's start by create our index.html. The second one here is going to be our styles.css, all right? And the last one here is going to be our app.js, all right? Let me just close this for now, we don't need it right now. And let's create our boilerplate. It's quite simple. Hit exclamation and tab, and we have our boilerplate. Let's come down here, the title, and in here let's type countdown. Let me save that before. Countdown Timer JavaScript. And now we want to have two more things here. We need a link, connect our markup to our CSS. Right here in the head tag. And close the closing body tag, we need a link pointed to our external JavaScript file. Alright devs, now let's create our boilerplate, it's gonna be quite simple. First we have this section, the main section, it's gonna be wrap around everything. And this div, we need this div because we wanna apply the layout for flex, okay? We want this h2 here, we're opening, this one is gonna be on the top, alright? And under this one, let's create another container here, let's say countdown and this one is gonna be below this one okay using flex layout all right and inside this one you also want to have a container day okay this is the class container day this one is gonna have a h3 this is gonna have the time this is gonna be auto populate using JavaScript all right and right below this one we're gonna have another h3 saying day, minutes, and seconds. So it's quite simple. We have one. All we have to do now is duplicate this one, okay? Let's give more space so you can understand what we're doing here. This one, all we have to do is change container hour. And here is gonna, it's gonna be hours. We don't have to change the, the first A3. It's gonna be output plate using JavaScript, all right? Now let's go to the third one here. This one is gonna be for the minutes. Let's make a change also here on the H3, okay, minutes. And yeah, we need one more. One more for the seconds. Let me change here, instead of minutes, here is going to be seconds. And also change this H3 here, seconds. And now outside of the div, let's have one less element here, our picture, okay. The source is going to be the time.svg, alright. There is a link down below so you can download this one. Let me put it side by side and you will going to see what you have so far. Okay, looks like we have a little page and let's do say style. All right, that's it. Now let's apply same styles. Okay, we are in CSS, so let's head to Google Fonts. And in Google Fonts, let's use this one, Lato. Okay, let me just copy this one for now and paste it here. That's it for now. And under this one, we want to have a CSS reset. Okay. This code is gonna behave different in different browsers. So, our CSS reset, get rid of margin padding zero. And for the box sizing, it's gonna be a border box. All right. 
now we are gonna grab the body the whole thing okay and let's use that font okay font family is gonna be Lado and so serve in case of anything goes wrong okay if you're out of internet or something like that all right and let's also apply a background color it's gonna be this one a a d e f6 a bluish color it fits our project we also want to change this one we're opening soon okay our h2 and we want that to be big and nice so font size is gonna be a 5 ram we also want to change its color to something that fits our project so this one and now we also want the font way to be bold okay let me give more space and show it to you starts looking nice now we want to apply some layout okay let's grab the camison section this one that wraps around everything and here we want to give it a mean height of 100 vh all right and for the layout let's apply display flex putting horizontally side by side okay that's not what we want we're gonna fix that soon okay and here align items along the cross axis okay Right now, we're gonna change the direction, put one on the top of each other. So, flex direction is gonna be column. And now, just like content along the main axis, is gonna be center, okay? Next thing we're gonna style here is gonna be the, those timing days here, okay? Our countdown. So let's grab it and apply some layout. This place is gonna be flex, okay? Just like content, we could use something like center, but it doesn't look fine. So let's see, a space between looks good, but not enough. Let's try a space around. Yeah, looks good. Fits our project amazingly. All right, and now let's come here and text align center so this they, they are line all right and texture form we want that to be uppercase all right and one more thing we should do here is give some space okay we are open up soon it's too close so padding three ramp all the way around give some space in between our countdown and our H2. Another thing we should do is make this time bigger. This one is gonna be out populate using JavaScript, but we want that to be bigger, okay? Those numbers, day, hours, minutes, and seconds are very important, and we want the user to see. So let's grab those and font size, let's say something big like 3.5 RAM, okay, much better and one other thing here is this picture behind this one okay we can make it bigger or smaller depending on your, your project okay so dot calendar and the height here is gonna be 65 vh okay we have 35 vh for the text and 65 vh for it all right and now we are at our top moment okay javascript let's create our arrow function countdown and in here we are gonna give life to our project okay let's start by create our count date okay the date we count to in this case new date you can put wherever you want here the day you're gonna get married your birthday whatever you want okay and here let's have september 17th 2021 and the timing okay at midnight you can change for example this and at this date we have another website or something like that okay maybe it's you start you open or something like that let me console.log the count date so you see what you have here let's first of all invoke our function okay countdown 
and as you can see we have here friday friday september 17 2021 so it's working and as you can see we just came across with a issue we want that time to be in milliseconds so you can calculate and manipulate it so let's use the get time method just give the time in milliseconds as you can see right right now this is the number this huge number of milliseconds as you can see right now we are able to see our date in the future and we want to have a gap between the today's date the new date and that date in the future so it's quite simple as you can see our logic so const gap gap is going to be equals the count date the date in the future this one minus new date so now all right so this gap is what we're looking for so far so good as you can see but we don't want the time in milliseconds so another issue we want that to be in seconds minutes and hours so second is equal 1000 milliseconds so cost minutes is equals second time 60 the hour here is going to be equals minutes times 60 all right and for the day is going to be equals hour times 24 easy stuff this part was quite simple and now we want to calculate the this time gap okay so let's const text day okay the time under the days here equals gap divide by day let me console.log is show and show it to you okay what you have here console.log text day and you're gonna have 34.388819390000 and we don't want that all right so let's use the math.flaw and round its number okay so math.flaw let's put it into the parentheses let me save and as you can see we have 34 days we have a round number okay we are gonna apply that to everything in here so you get the idea let's continue okay const text hour let's again use math floor gap reminder day divide by hours okay let me just save let me duplicate this one this one is going to be text minute and in here instead of day we're going to have hours gap reminder hours divide by minutes okay this is going to give us the minutes and for the second is here text second gap reminder minute divide by seconds all right and now we have all the logic behind this one let's just apply and change the names okay here are the time updates the html this part is quite simple okay document query selector let's grab the day okay dot day and let's use the method inner text okay simple like that inner text equals to text day and as you can see the text day is here is 34 days I just duplicate this one it's quite simple as i told you in the beginning okay if i can type hour and text hour all right we have nine hours here okay this one is going to be for the minutes also the text minute as you can see we have four minutes and document color select second inner text text seconds as you can see we have it done but you came across with another issue it just changed by itself we have to manually reload the page every time it does make sense all right 
so let's fix that okay you have an idea how we can do that we are problem solver so let's solve this one okay let's use javascript for that okay let's find some tool and this case is going to be set interval two parameters one is going to be our function and another the time so one second so every second this is going to run our function and as you can see we have it okay our project is done congratulations you did it thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video bye bye